CM Punk lasted two minutes and 14 seconds with me. That's pretty good. Um, Mike Jackson lasted 45 seconds with me. So, you know, by that, um, CM Punk does have three times, almost triple the UFC cage time that Mike Jackson has. So that's a factor going into it. Um, we also, so Mike Jackson had, has a gang of, uh, like amateur MMA fights. So you got to assume he has more experience, uh, that he has more hardwired skill, you know? Um, but I believe, you know, I believe CM Punk's been working hard. And although I can see Mike Jackson kind of touching him up on the feet and, um, you know, beating him up, uh, out striking him. I also could see CM Punk, you know, getting a takedown. Maybe, maybe CM Punk developed a little game. You know, I, I do believe he's been working hard. He's like four years now into the sport, so we'll see. Um, and like I said, Mike, you know, Mike Jackson should win, but I'm taking CM Punk. Yesterday, I, I was talking to CM Punk and I asked him. I said, you know, everyone knows what happened when you fought Mickey Gall, and uh, you know, after you do your thing on Saturday. Do you have any interest in the future in trying to right that wrong? And he essentially said, yeah, that's something that he would like to do. He said, I don't make the matches. And I, I, I don't think. He don't want me. that. Yeah. So what do you say to, what do you say to CM Punk then when you hear that he would. I be think he's a liar. I think he's a liar. I don't think he actually wants that. I don't think, I don't think they'll let him, they'll, they'll let that happen to him again. So you don't think even after these couple extra years of training since he was last in there with you, there is still no way that he has the ability or the, the training to get in there and beat you. Nah, hell no. Hell no. But uh, if, if he if he wins and he really wants to run it back, um, we, the, you know, I, I'm here. You know? If, if, he, if, if, if he really doesn't, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm here. 